Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. Thanks for joining me today. I'm here with Gemini March Tarot reading. If you like, you can tr uh, treat this as pick a card if you wish to or in this five card spread maybe you know have a look at the numbers and uh, you can go week by week for each number if you wish to let's go to the board now and see what these cards have to say if you decide you want to do it uh, by time week by week you'll see there's a five here this will be the last three days of the month if that's what you want to do okay so let's get on with these cards if you are new please consider subscribing to my channel and click that notification bell let's go with that one okay alrighty uh, doors opening doors closing there's big wooden doors here this is something ancient this is something that goes back in your past lives or in your family a long way back these doors look like they're possibly mm, few hundred years old uh, at least two or three hundred years old uh, okay there's something about alcohol uh, drinking it reminds me of a tavern uh, and maybe travelers seafarers sailors uh, at this uh, at this tavern let's see what the card has to say okay the ten of wands it is the uh, end of a cycle where something has been going for a fair while but it involved uh, heavy lifting heavy work and uh, it's it, this could be something that's been in your family for a long time and you're ending it it's almost like is there a family curse and perhaps alcohol's involved or some other addiction sometimes when i get the sense of alcohol it can also indicate cigarettes um, drugs uh, addictions generally okay it, it, the focus is not on the type of addiction it's just on addictive energy and humans can get addicted to anything uh, but this says because it's the 10 it says it's the end of the cycle so a new cycle is about to begin so if it is uh, an issue concerning addiction, uh, maybe look at what you can do to leave addiction out of the new cycle. She's wearing green and there's a lot of um, green here in the background. That does suggest new growth and opportunity. You'll see here, like, I think there's a hill behind there. So that's a bit of a challenge. And if it is an uh, issue to do with addiction, yes, that is certainly a challenge but she's getting there and you'll get there too okay so that's the first card you might seriously look at changing your diet maybe you're addicted to sweets or you know something chocolates uh, eating chips or crisps uh, let's have a look at the next card card number two card number two going with that card there closing my eyes what do I see I get the sense of father I actually see my own father who's not on this earth anymore uh, and yes right thank you um, yes so this follows on from the addiction issue my father had a, a problem with alcohol I consequently I don't drink it I might have one glass a year or something of wine which I enjoy but um, yeah, so this leads, this is leading on about addiction again. Let's see what card comes up. The three of wands. Okay, so wands here and wands here. Wands are a very passionate, fiery energy. And uh, perhaps if there is an issue with addiction, that's keeping that fire and that passion down. If it's smoking, it can create like a smoke screen. You, I always have to ask when people smoke, you know, I ask myself, I don't talk to them necessarily about it, but I ask myself and say, I wonder what it is that they're covering up because it's a smoke screen, you see. So it's not just about covering it up to the outside world, it's covering it up to from themselves with this card uh, this is often a family situation uh, a couple of members of the family and they don't see quite eye to eye on everything and there's something they've got to do together so for example it might be care of elderly parents or somebody sick in the family and they've all got to help out in some way or undergo some joint project or venture and they don't see eye to eye so there can be a few disagreements uh, but it's because they feel 
they all feel they're right you know they everybody feels like they're the correct one and nobody else is right except them but the passion passion and the fiery nature you know and often mars can be associated with that energy as well so do check out your horoscope to see where mars is in march okay and i have done all of the uh, march horoscopes by the way okay so if this is you uh then you can agree to disagree it's going to work out the venture is going to work out in the end it just could have these little hiccups along the way all right looking at the next card thank you very much third card for march let's see what we can see i'm gonna go with going to go with that one okay blue uh blue i feel like it's the ocean not the sky uh, i feel like it's sort of piscean uh watery ocean depths uh blues greens there's a big whale here looking at me as they do uh, and his big blue eye just the one big whale eye looking at me the whales the record keepers these are like your family me memories your ancestral memories going back for hundreds of years also can be your past lives uh, the card that comes up is the eight of pentacles okay look back in your family and have a look and see what family members thought about money what were their belief systems about money because this card is about making money yourself and it is through good spiritual work often it's like craftsmanship something that involves uh, creativity and sometimes physical works involved see she's got red legs here that means taking action uh, and she's got a black boot with a foot on the ground so that's the root chakra do you have a pain in your back i just felt a twinge then uh, and um, especially around this black because this black is the color of the earth or represents the earth or your lower back and the root chakra okay which can be you know tied up with your childhood uh, your what your father taught you did your father teach you how to make money uh, in a in a wholesome sort of way uh, and also the lower back and also um, things to do with housing uh, homes homelessness uh, and uh, so lower back sometimes it's the jaw especially for aquarians uh, sometimes aquarians have uh, jaw issues more than most lower back or knee okay you might also consider uh, retraining for another job okay so there could be some more study coming for, uh, through for you consider that all right let's look at card number four now card number four gorgeous Gemini's let's see what comes out mm, no 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 yes all right a garage door I see the garage okay so in the garage we keep our our cars our cars are uh, indicating uh, liberation freedom independence getting out and doing what we want in the way we want to do it okay so uh, have you got room in your life for freedom and independence the card that comes up is the six of pentacles obviously freedom and independence can be tied to money okay the more money you have the more freedom and independence you may have up to a point there comes a point where people can have so much money they don't even know how much money they've got uh, this indicates that March is important for organizing and administering your money uh, and this is like a woman who pays the bills uh, she decides who gets paid and uh, when and there are people here asking for money uh, these could be your children for example not just the people you owe money to but sometimes uh, children can come into this card but it is a beneficial card uh, suggests that um, uh, money will be well organized and uh, you know you'll be in charge and you'll be weighing up exactly what you do with your money and weighing up your budget maybe you cut back on some things you know to do with your finances okay oh this one comes out there's actually three there I don't read reverse cards 
Uh, okay, well, I'll just have a look at these. Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This is money coming to you after a long, drawn-out sort of thing. You could have been working. Sometimes it's involving real estate or investments. See this big house here. But it is a cause for celebration and congratulations because it's about achievement uh, and especially financial achievement. Page of Wands brings... I often think pages bring good news although technically it's just they bring news but I think they bring good news this is about feeling motivated and inspired could be to do with travel but it's more often to do with the chakras opening up so energy coming up that's going to help you feel motivated and take action some growth and opportunity here and you could be talking about this as communications and the King of Cups, a mature masculine energy, but it can be in a woman. And this is often a woman who is uh, postmenopausal, someone who's experienced and really knows uh, what he or she is doing. Uh, really, basically, this says mastering the emotions so that the emotions don't run away with you and take control of you. You are not your emotions. You'll notice the ocean here in the background. And this masculine energy is seated on a shell with a clamshell at the back. So being in touch with your subconscious, but, you know, showing some degree of uh, mastership in your life. Well done, you. And gold around the throat. It's a very, it's a very high level energy. Okay, so that's your month. Uh, I hope you find that little bit interesting now I'm going to uh, close my eyes and see what I can see uh, for everybody uh, especially uh, the Gemini's gorgeous Gemini's in March 2021 what do I see I get turquoise blue uh, so green of the heart meets the blue of the throat and that makes the turquoise color Okay, so a lot of communications going on. It's almost like a new start for you, gorgeous Geminis. I feel like some major new venture or project, maybe a job, or something that's quite important in your life uh, is going to show, you know, some sort of clue. It's almost like you could have been waiting for a fair while uh, for something to change, and there is a change here, a definite change in March. Okay, uh, flowers, there's flowers, even blue flowers actually, uh, and uh, blue flowers are quite rare, but they're bright blue, and uh, again, blue is about communications, but can indicate the sky, the sky of mind, uh, new thoughts, new thinking, new ways, you know, new ways of considering a circumstance so that you can fix it okay i see a river here it's been a bit stagnant uh but it's like again this all this water comes down and cleans it out so these are just sort of variations on a theme that i'm seeing if you've been stuck in a rut uh, and you know you haven't been very motivated there's like an influx of this energy that will get you going again okay lots of pink flowers here happiness warmth affection and almost like a type of love uh with your friends celebrating that sort of thing anything else oh yes and there are some dollar notes here they're hiding in a crevice this is like a mountain the side of a mountain which means a challenge but in there if you go in and look in these little crevices and little caves and things there's some actual money there waiting for you. You have to find it, basically. Go to the challenges that you're experiencing in your life and see if you can find some sort of financial recompense or some sort of financial reward. Okay, so that's it, everybody. I hope you found this uh, a little bit interesting. It'd be great if you did. Uh, leave me a comment, a like, and uh, if you share on your social media, I'll love you forever. Okay, I exaggerate, I'll probably love you for five minutes. Have a wonderful month and uh, I shall see you all again soon. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell right now. Okay, see you again soon. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. 
please visit my website absolutesoulsecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.